Morning. Good morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system, the human body, is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you, a loved one, a workmate, are dealing with a health challenge, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have questions about your medication, about nutritional supplements, about a health challenge you're dealing with or a loved one's dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a success story you'd like to share or you want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about ingredients, formulations, skin health products, skin health questions, anything you may have heard about or read about in the newspaper, on the radio, or on TV, we can help you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions, 844-236-6010, and we do have lines open for you. Try to call in early if you can. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or check out my blog, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website as well, or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of our truth treatment skin health products, including our 5% retinol gel, Omega-6 Healing Cream or our Vitamin C Loaded Truth Serum and Truth Balm. Head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. You can also check out our skin health blog that we do at truthtreatments.com. Also, uh, my Facebook page, The Truth With Ben. You can hit the like button and get updated and get uh, receive all our updates, which we do mm, somewhat regularly. Okay, we're talking fats, fatty vitamins, and the skin. Specifically, we left off talking yesterday about one of my all-time favorite vitamins, vitamin E, an all-around fat-protecting nutrient. We said it's not going to cure psoriasis, but because your skin is particularly, well, everything in the body is dependent on fats, but the skin is especially dependent on fats for growth. And the skin is constantly growing, so it's really dependent on fats and fatty vitamins. And, of course, vitamin E is an essential substance like air and like water. It's a must-have nutrient. Whether you got psoriasis or eczema or acne or any other skin condition, you definitely want to be including vitamin E in your supplement regimen. You're not going to find this one in foods. It's very difficult to get adequate amounts of vitamin E in foods. It's next to impossible to get adequate amounts of vitamin E in foods. That's why supplementing is so important. And given the fact that this stuff is so ridiculously inexpensive, even the more expensive varieties, which we'll talk about here in the coming days, the so-called mixed forms of vitamin E, which are really the, the ways you want to go. Alpha, the one most of us have heard of, the alpha form or alpha tocopherol form. That's good, and you, you'll get benefits from that one. That's probably the main form. But it's nice, if, you, if you're going to be supplementing with vitamin D, it's nice to have the full spectrum of all the forms of vitamin D, of which there are eight, and we will be discussing that in the coming days. Vitamin E is tremendously anti-aging, one of the best anti-aging, uh, anti-skin, well, anti-everything aging, but especially anti-skin aging. It's got sun protection benefits. Vitamin E is a sun protectant. I know we talk about this a lot, but it's so important. The way our skin is designed to be protected from the sun is not by smearing on a sunscreen. 
And make no mistake about it, no matter what you hear from your doctor or the or companies or the government for that matter, sunscreens are toxic chemicals. They kill cells. And yes, I know you don't want to burn. And if you don't have an option, maybe you have to use a sunscreen, maybe. Of course, sunblocks are much more effective. Zinc oxide, they get everything. They cover all the solar rays. Sunscreens don't cover all the solar rays. They just cover the rays that cause burning, and sometimes the super toxic ones will cause some. Will, will uh, screen out some of the aging rays, but nonetheless, they're toxic chemicals. On the other hand, vitamin E protects your skin in a antioxidant fashion. It it actually neutralizes sun energy. It doesn't screen it. It doesn't block it. It neutralizes it. And it does it in a natural, non-toxic fashion, internally as well as externally. And that makes vitamin E, by the way, really helpful for eye health, too. Most eye vitamins will contain vitamin E. Anything that protects your skin, any nutrient that protects your skin from burning, whether we're talking vitamin E, or whether we're talking vitamin C, or whether we're talking zinc, or whether we're talking carotenes like lutein and xanthine, these pigments that are found in vegetables, all of those nutrients will protect your skin and they'll also protect your eyes. Your eyes are a type of skin. And so anything that protects your skin, any nu nutrient that protects your skin from burning or from aging or from damage from the sun will also protect your eyes and vitamin E is no different. Vitamin E's got anti-aging benefits for your skin, anti-aging benefits for your eyes. If you're dealing or, or don't want to deal with macular degeneration, or if you have macular degeneration, using vitamin E is an effective strategy. Vitamin E protects all the fats in the bodies, particularly the outside part of cells, the membrane. The, it also protects the fats in the skin. Your skin is loaded with fats. And these fats, things like cholesterol and essential fatty acids, these fats help keep the skin moist, help keep the skin soft. And these fats are readily damaged by the sun. Well, vitamin E protects them. If you're in, living in Florida, you're living in a place where there's lots of sun and you're always out in the sun, I'm telling you, there is no better vitamin to supplement with than vitamin E. And because, as we said yesterday or the day before, vitamin E it doesn't really participate in chemical reactions. It's more like a protectant vitamin. You don't really have to worry about taking high doses of vitamin E. You're not going to throw off balances necessarily with high doses of vitamin E. So you can take 800 IU of vitamin E, which is... Oh, uh, my God, it's like, let's see, 40 times the already, more than maybe 50 times the recommended daily allowance. You can take these high doses, which is unusual for a fat-soluble vitamin, which is stored. Now, you don't want to go crazy with it, but 400 IU to 800 IU, is four, I, I would stick to 400 IU, maybe 800 IU if you're uh, going out in the sun a lot or, or you're afraid of burning or you're, you have a tendency to burn. One thing that vitamin E is not going to do is eliminate scars. This is a myth. I don't know how this myth got out there, but it's out there. People think they could put vitamin E on their scars. I guarantee you there's somebody out there listening, probably a lot of you, who thinks you could, or who may even be putting on vitamin E oil on a scar thinking it's going to go away. It won't. You're not going to improve. You're not going to reduce. You're not going to eliminate. You're not going to in any way change a scar. That's the definition of a scar. It's permanent. And this is something I hear about all the time because we don't like our scars. We're, for some reason, we look at our scars as a bad thing. Now, not all cultures do. There's actually northern African tribes and indigenous cultures in Australia and New Guinea that, that think it's a great thing to have scars and they'll intentionally scar themselves. There are battle uh, warriors who consider it a sign that they're battle hardened if they have scars. So it's not like it's a, it's not like it's a universal dislike or revulsion. It is in our culture to not like scarring. Unfortunately, the body likes scars, and and by that I mean a scar is an extra form of protection. A bond, a scar is one of the ways the body protects itself. We may not like our scarring, but our bodies like our scarring. And by the way, there's predatory companies out there that will have no problem exploiting and taking advantage of our anti-scar sentiments. So if any cream, if you're purchasing any cream or you've seen a commercial for a cream that even remotely tells you, they won't really because they know. Uh, but if they if they imply that they're going to make a, their product going to make a difference in your scarring, it's not true. All right. We'll continue when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back. 
Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Okay, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You get uh, we've got lots of health, uh, lots of health information, four plus years of archives, plus you can purchase longevity products right off the website, brightsideben.com, and you can search. You can also go to benfuchsarchives.com to search, and you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben Brightside Ben team right off the website as well, brightsideben.com, also pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. If you're interest, interested in checking out our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so continuing on, talking about the skin and fats, a lot of folks have this idea, and I'm not sure where it came from, that you could put vitamin E on top of a scar and it'll go away. Not true. You can't do anything to a scar once it's there. They're permanent, and that's a good thing. A scar is the body's attempt to reinforce an area that it considers vulnerable. That's a good thing. We may not like the way a scar looks, but our body's concern is not our cosmetic appearance. It's its strength and resilience and its ability to survive. And a scar is pro-survival. A scar helps us survive. It's adaptive. It represents a, a way that the body strengthens a potentially vulnerable, vulnerable area, and by potentially vulnerable, an area that it has demonstrated vulnerability. In the same way that a bone will heal stronger at the point of the break. How cool is that? That the body doesn't just recover, it recovers better. This is why I say all degenerative diseases are reversible, all of them with a capital A. Everything, because it's in the body's nature not just to heal, not just to reverse degeneration or breakdown, not just to regenerate, but to regenerate better. That is amazing. The body is an intelligent system. It's a smart system. Computer technologists and information technologists, people who work with computer chips and programming and software, are fascinated with the idea of self-repairing tissue self-repairing stuff. Now, they can't do biological tissue, but they're working on self-repairing clothes, self-repairing tires, self-repairing textiles, things that repair themselves that are smart. Uh, and there already are tires, I think, that do that, that are smart enough to know when there's a weakness and they'll patch them up. They'll have some kind of intelligence in the, built into the rubber. Well, the body does that. The skin does that. The bone does that. Not only does it self-repair, though, it self-repairs better. A scar is the testimony of the body's ability to heal and repair itself. It's like your best friend, a scar. We don't like them cosmetically, and there are companies that will take advantage of that, and there's nothing any company, any skincare product can do to eliminate a scar or prevent a scar or, or uh, reverse a scar. Now, prevention, there's, there, that's a little different. And you can do things to prevent your scarring. That's the way you want to do it. But once a scar is there, it's there. And if you'll, uh, there, are some, there are products out there. They call them scar creams. They don't work. Save your money. There's nothing they could do because, like I say, a scar is a good thing. It's the way the body is protecting itself. And you'll note that when you, uh, when you see advertisements or read advertisements, or now they're on TV, for scar creams like Mederma, that's the most famous one. Mederma is the one that's marketed in dermatology magazines to dermatologists and trade journals and their patients. And when you're sitting in the dermatologist's waiting room and you're picking up, uh, you're reading a journal that's sitting on the, on the coffee table there, chances are pretty good you're going to see an ad for Mederma. It's the most, probably the most famous one. But you'll notice that they never say in the advertisement, they'll never say, makes your scar go away or anything like that. They can't because it doesn't. What they'll say is things like amazing results, or they may say uh, uh, thousands have seen the difference, or sometimes they'll say softens a scar or smooths a scar. I don't know what that means, softens a scar or smooths a scar. What the heck is that about? You want your scar soft and smooth? Those are called weasel words, by the way, in the skincare business and in the marketing business and in the skincare marketing business. They're weasel words. And skincare is filled with weasel words because the government regulates what skincare products can say and skincare companies can say about their products. They can't say that they'll make your wrinkles go away. That's a prescription. 
So they'll use weasel words, improves the appearance of wrinkles. These are weasel words, and, and 